Hello, this is Ninja Bob, and welcome to episode 15 of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Today I am wearing a party hat, and that's because I'm actually celebrating. I finally, finally managed to get my head around this quarry business engines, and I won't say I'm an expert or anything, but I have managed to get it working. So we're going to have a look at that today. Uh, it's taken us like two, three episodes, and I was starting to embarrass myself, so I decided to spend a bit of time. It's actually taken me a good couple of hours uh, to, to sort of go and do some research, understand how they work just a little bit more, and I'm glad to say that somewhere underneath our feet, as we speak there is a mining quarry doing its thing it is digging away all by itself now we're gonna to have to keep it fueled up that's going to be quite a challenge so we might have to do that today uh, and we also need to finish off the building behind me the building behind me uh, is um, well it's it's more complete than it was last time you saw it uh, we were looking at it in the last episode um, we were looking at carpenters blocks weren't we we were looking at these angled sides so this is what we're all used to in Minecraft well kind of the blocks are unusual but we're used to seeing things in squares uh, but we now have these angled walls so these are done with carpenters blocks turn sideways and you know what I was wrestling with these in the last episode but actually you, once you get your head around it they're not that difficult to place they're a little bit like stair blocks uh, obviously you've got more options you can place them sideways upside down that kind of thing uh, and you can also change the, the, the shape and the size of the block uh, but yeah I was struggling initially but once you get started it's actually quite simple to place these and uh, yeah I've been experimenting with them and in fact I'll take you inside and yeah you might be thinking where's the door Bob uh, there is no door there is no door and that might seem like an oversight but actually it's sort of deliberate. Um, I might put one in at some point, uh, but this isn't really uh, supposed to be a building for going in and out of. Uh, it's actually supposed to keep us safe because as you might have noticed there, when we were outdoors, we were being hit by weakness. There's an effect on us called weakness, uh, which is, uh, this is one of the quirks of this world that we're in. We're in a mistcraft age. Uh, it's basically surrounded in uh, in uh, red, uh, sorry, red wood. I was going to say red stone, red wood trees, which are absolutely awesome. Look at the size of them. They're huge. Uh, you take one of those down with one of your uh, one of your um, alumite tools here, one of this one, what's it called, a, a lumber hammer, uh, you go and take that down, a lumber axe I should say, uh, and you'll get about three to four stacks of wood all in one go, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, there are also balls of, um, there you go, there's one up there, there's a ball of uh, lapis lazuli up there, and I think there's another one over there, but we're not worried about what's up in the sky, we're worried about what's underground. So this is where we spawn in when we come from the overworld, there's our book that takes us back to the overworld. Uh, when we spawn in, we land here, so we still need a roof over us to, to make sure that we're protected, and there you go, there's a strange little eclipse going on there, another sign that we are in a very strange world. We have a sun going in one direction, and the moon going at the other, at the same time. How weird is that? Uh, anyway, yeah, so um, when we're outside, we get this uh, this weakness effect, but when we're inside, we don't. So the the idea is is that we're going to try to stay indoors as much as we possibly can. Uh, so yeah, that's what this building is all about. It's not for getting in and out. It's for about staying in, uh, getting in and staying in. Uh, so yeah, since the last episode, as you can see, I've uh, I've finished off the staircase. I've, or I say finished it. I've, I've built the entire staircase. I've used the willow wood just exactly as I explained. Uh, we've used, uh, these are just normal oak wood, but they've been chiseled. So you get that nice unusual set of planks there. I've also used the chisel on the glass, which is kind of weird looking, isn't it? But it looks really nice. I really like the way this has turned out. Um, down here, we've used the chisel once again and some more of these carpenter's blocks to make this sort of basement for ourselves. So we've got this nice angled thing. This is cobblestone, believe it. Uh, sorry, no, this is stone bricks, believe it or not. And this is marble. We had loads of marble building up uh, and I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I've used uh, used the chisel on it to make it look nice. Uh, we've also got some of these, some more of these lanterns up. These are made of a stone, uh, which we found we were out mining once. It's an unusual type of stone. I've got a little gap there. Oh, I'll tell you what that gap is, actually. I might as well quickly show you. This is where we were working last time. So I've still got access to uh, where we were. That's uh, that's the place where we were doing our experiments, our failed experiments last time. Uh, the, the floor is made of great wood, by the way. Great wood slabs. I don't know why I did it in slabs. I just did. Um... Have I got the right blocks? I was going to fill that gap in. No, I haven't got any of the blocks with me. Right, so come through here to my engine room. So this is... Excuse me. <laughs> what effect have you got on you? I'm tempted to kill you, but I'm, I'm worried that you've got, I don't know, something destructive on you. Okay, all right, not to worry. Uh, so here we go. We finally got our biogas engine working. So what I was getting wrong, basically, well, there was a few things I was getting wrong, let's be let's be honest. Uh, look at that. We're almost out of fuel already. But the good news is the lava lasts quite well. Our, our engines are now filled with lava. We've got four engines pumping away, so they're doing their thing. They're all being uh, cooled uh, by the liquid, uh, by the water, I should say, and the water runs down and underneath. Now, I actually sort of misunderstood 
the the basic premise of, of biogas engines. My my feeling was is that the lava was the fuel and the water was just keeping it cool. But that's not how it works. The way it works is the lava is boiling the water. That's why the water disappears so quickly, and that's why you need this infinite water source. So this is our aqueous accumulator, which is gathering up water from around it, uh, and yeah, constantly you see it topping up. Blah 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 blah. blah. So just as it starts to empty out, it, it tops itself straight back up again from the water around it. So it's permanently creating an infinite water source and pumping it into these engines. And these engines are boiling the water, which is what makes the uh, this energy appear out of here through these kine kinesis pipes. So that light blue line you can see coming through the middle of it, that is the energy. So there you go. We've got the heat source, we've got the fuel source, and then we've got the energy coming out. What I've then used is these uh, these funny looking torches that you can see in my hand. These are called landmarks. We talked about these last time, but what I basically did come down here was uh, come down here and drew out this line. Uh oh, you are not welcome, my friend. That's the only thing. Since I've dug this thing out, uh, it's all got a little bit dark and a little bit deathy down here. I've got to be a little bit careful, especially early doors. Uh, once it gets down deep enough, it'll be fine. But you can see the quarry is doing its thing. There is the quarry. Uh, and it is digging, digging, digging away. Oh, we've got another beastie come to visit. Now, what's happening is he's basically over there in where the uh, quarry is digging out. It's obviously dark. And now that I'm down here, the beasties are starting to roam around and look for me. So I guess I should probably move away. But I need to get myself a chest because at the moment, uh, the quarry is gathering stuff up. And it obviously still has room inside itself to hold whatever it's got, uh, but it's going to start pumping out uh, whatever it's mined soon, and it's going to just—it will just start dumping it onto the floor. So I need to get myself a chest, uh, preferably like a diamond chest or something like that, I guess, uh, so that we can start gathering up the materials. But yes, as I was saying, I use the the landmarks to draw out the corner. So you draw out one corner there, one down the far end there, and then one in the far corner. I've mapped out a 20 by 20 space here, and this thing is going to mine its way through. It will go five blocks up to that top corner there. And when it's finished doing that, it's going to mine all the way down to bedrock. Oh yeah, so all of those materials are going to be mine uh, without me having to run backwards and forwards with a pickaxe. Should we kill that thing, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Go on. Hey, gotcha. I wonder what effects he had on him. That was weird, wasn't it? He had it the whole time. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there we go. Our engines are working well. Uh, the issue is, like I say, is that the uh, the lava will run out eventually. Uh, but the lava takes a while, to be fair. What would run out quicker is the water, but that's dealt with. But it means that we need to make sure that we keep topped up with lava. So whatever whenever we get an opportunity, uh, we'll head out and uh, top, out, top up our buckets. Um, I guess what I should do actually is get some more of those glass tanks. In fact, I think I might have some. I thought might have some. Now the good news is is that the um, the quarry seems to automatically um, keep the uh, the chunks loaded, so that even when I leave this place, uh, the they keep loaded. Uh, so which means it carries on mining. So let me just show you that just to, just to prove the point. I guess if nothing else. So we're back in the overworld. We're back in our house now, which you're possibly familiar with by now. This is where we normally make our videos. But yeah, today we are over in the uh, in this uh, redwood over redwood mist world. <laughs> redwood mistcraft world. That's a mouthful, isn't it? I need to give it a different name. My mining world. My mining world. Now I've seen other people do mining worlds and they sort of tend to do sort of specialist worlds where they you know they they do it with miscraft and they get some get themselves some very fancy so you can see the uh, sorry you can see that the uh, the quarry is still working there that was what I was trying to say uh, yeah th there are there are ways of sort of trying to plot out uh, perfect um, perfect kind of um, worlds that, for, that are specifically for mining that have got lots of dense ores uh, and they're covered in uh, mycelium for example so you don't get beastie spawning or, or something like that so you make it perfect so you get a world where nothing bad happens nothing spawns uh, unlike here um, and then you, you can you can mine away uh, what I've chosen to do as well by the way you might be wondering but yeah I have deliberately chosen to keep my mine underground only slightly only slightly it actually comes up to about two blocks in fact you can see the uh, the laser there coming out. So there is a good chance that on a couple of occasions it's probably going to pop out and make holes. I've just noticed over there for example if it reaches as far as that then obviously it's going to come out. I'm not too worried to be honest. I'm not too worried if it does come out into the overworld. The whole point of us doing it in this different age is that we can't do any harm to our own world. I want to keep our own world as clean and as safe as we can. Uh, right, so let's uh, let's grab some stuff. We don't need all of this stuff here so let's take it back. There's one of those lanterns. There's the abyssal block that we made it from. Uh, what else have we got here? Anything else that we need? I don't think so. Uh, no, that's the one we looked in already. What have we got here? We've got some gears that we don't need at the moment. Um, no, I thought I had some tanks. Perhaps they're in my backpack. Let's have a look. My knapsack, I should say. Um, right, okay. We've got loads of junk. We've got loads of junk. We need to get it back to the overworld and get it stored up. Um, 
So let's do that now, shall we? Right, we're pretty much full up. Let's go home. And uh, yeah, we'll go and empty out our pockets. So yeah, we've got a couple of other things to, to, to think about now. Uh, now that we've got the quarry going, we do need to worry about storage. So we need to make ourselves another diamond chest. Uh, let's just empty out our XP. We need to get ourselves another diamond chest or some or some form of storage. It doesn't have to be a diamond chest. Uh, I also want to get some more of this stuff smelting because uh, I'm running out of space. Uh, what have I got here? Let's get rid of the copper and the uranium oh i've just realized uh, you can't can you cook uranium oh you can i've never cooked uranium okay might as well do that then and uh, we'll throw in the uh, aluminium as well uh, right while we're doing that let's pop downstairs get rid of the rest of the cobblestone do you, don't need any more of that uh, not at the moment anyway let's uh, make a bit of space here i've used up a lot of space on bricks which i don't need so let's just get rid of all of this lot here and we also got to start getting these different types of cobblestone as well uh, which i might as well switch back actually because uh, otherwise it just makes it awkward to store doesn't it um right so what we do is we uh, we right click our chisel uh, we get the modified block just there. We turn it back to its normal state. There you go. And now it will stack again. Otherwise, it won't stack. You see, that's uh, that's the reason I'm doing that. Uh, so now it will stack again. Uh, right, all of our other materials. Let's just dump into here. Uh, I've got some more of that piping here, which I should keep. I should keep separate somewhere, shouldn't I? Um, Okay, I'm, this is part of the reason why we're, we're having to expand. We're going to expand up into the uh, to the mountain at some point and build our our home up in this mountain up the top there. Um, and we're going to get ourselves a nice big storage space because we have got so much stuff, so much stuff, and uh, really am running out of places to put it. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another one of these things out. Uh, let's take it downstairs so we're not quite as mixed up. Let's just uh, dump this here for a second. And everything I've got that's related to sort of mining and engines and all of that sort of stuff, including my build craft wrench there, uh, I'm going to dump into that chest instead. Right, okay, that will do. Uh, let's go over here, empty this out. Oh, look, we've got loads of stuff in the knapsack as well. Oh, man, so much stuff. Right, I tell you what, let's concentrate on what we were doing, which was we were going to get ourselves a chest. Now, I can't actually remember how we do these. It's been a while since I've made one. Uh, I think we get a normal chest, which I think I've got a stock of here oh in fact i've already got one in my inventory okay let's do a couple let's go one uh do two of those in there and i think what we do initially do we surround it with iron first of all i think uh let's grab ourselves a block of iron uh da, 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 da. this one here one two three no nope, don't need three just need two uh in fact i don't even need that many do i i'm going to drop them down into uh, into ingots and let's just get rid of one of those uh, let's come back to the crafting table take that out for a second dump that in there nine ingots thank you very much and then i think all we do do we go do we go one two three four or do we go all the way around? I think we might go all the way around, actually. I was right first time. I did need two blocks. <laughs> right, let's go get another block. Uh, here we go. Let's grab that. And take that over. Oh, I've taken all of the iron now. Good job, Bob. Well done. And I've thrown it all on the floor. Ah, oh, what a mucky pup. Right, let's dump all of that in there, except the one that I actually wanted. There you go. Done. Right, so over to the crafting table once again. Uh, turn that into ingots. Put the chest in the middle. Surround it with iron ingots. And we have another iron chest. Marvellous. Right, now I can't quite remember how you make a diamond chest. I think we then just surround it, uh, the, the iron one. Oh, no, no, we have to upgrade it to gold first. Crikey, it's expensive. Um, so let's grab some gold, uh, which is, again, it's back over in this chest. Uh, have I got gold ready made? I do. Marvellous. Right, let's grab some of that then. Uh, dump that into here. We put the two chests in the middle. Surround that with gold. And we've got two gold chests. Thank you very much. And then uh, we need to grab two diamonds. Now we've got some diamonds or they'll turn into blocks. There we go. I turn most of them into blocks. Uh, so we can just undo that for a second. There we go. And then we need to grab some glass. Do I have any glass on me? I think I had some in my backpack, didn't I? Did I have glass? No, nope. it's some more of that stuff though, some more of the uh, mining stuff. So let's, uh... oh, and I have got tanks on me. There we go. I'll oh, perhaps we'll go and grab some lava then before the end of the episode because I do want to get some more lava. I want to keep that thing topped up with fuel if I possibly can. Uh, right, what was I looking for? Oh, look, I've already got an iron chest ready made. I'll tell you what, let's do it. Let's make another, let's make another, um... I've not got quite enough gold on me, but that's okay. I was down here to grab glass. That's what I was here for. So let's grab some glass. Thank you very much. Uh, so let's get rid of uh, get rid of that off of there now because we know what we're doing. Uh, let's head back upstairs, or up the ladder, I should say. Let's go and make ourselves another gold chest uh, by dumping that in there and surrounding it. I don't have enough gold on me, so let's grab some more gold out of this one here. Uh, so like that. There we go. Uh, another gold chest, please. Whoop point and stick the iron in the middle gold chest and then we're going to go gold chests in the middle diamonds either side oops half a stack half a stack and then glass top and bottom was that how we did it whoop 
There we go. One, two, three diamond chests. Awesome. Now we don't really need three for the uh, the uh, for the quarry at the moment, but I guess uh, I'd rather I'd rather have too many than not enough. So let's uh, let's dump everything else that we don't need back into the relevant chest for the moment. That includes the iron and the gold. Uh, let's get rid of the dirt as well, because it's just taking up unnecessary space in my pockets. And uh, I've also got some other junk here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and then downstairs, was it downstairs? I had that other that other crate it was, right? So let's dump this stuff in here, the pipes and the... Uh, do I need anything else in there? Oh, I was going to take those tanks as well. Right, so let's grab this chest, uh, this crate, I should say. We'll take it back to the uh, to the Redwood Realm. Uh, and uh, yeah, while we're there, we'll dump that off and uh, see how the quarry's getting on. And hopefully we've got there before stuff has started being churned out of the quarry, because what I really don't want to happen is to start losing stuff. I don't want stuff to start despawning. Uh, let's just be careful. Make sure we're armed as we come down here. Uh, oh, it's still is it still going? It is still going. Good. Okay. Uh, there are. There's another one of those radioactive bats. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's not worry too much about that for a minute. Let's just get ourselves a diamond chest put into place there. Now, hopefully, that will start filling up soon. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, if I'm honest. Uh, oh, here we go. Look. You can see the quarry doing its thing. It's strange how it does it, isn't it? It's sort of... Uh, it's got, oh, I see. Look. It's going per material. So it's going for all the stone first, you see. Okay. That's clever. That's interesting. Uh, so I wonder how that works, and I wonder how that works. I wonder if it... I think what happens is, once it's cleared out this top area, um, it then creates like a frame around the outside of this, and then it starts digging downwards. So do you know what I think we're going to do? Uh, I don't think we're going to get too much else done today, except maybe grab some lava. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot off and grab some more lava to top up our engine, uh, and then, yeah, by the time we get back, hopefully, uh, this thing will be uh, digging downwards rather than upwards. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Hello, so I thought I'd just bring you back for a moment just so you could see how I'm actually doing this because I've just realised I've not actually shown you this before but all I'm really doing is uh, is gathering up lava with a bucket as you'd expect uh, but rather than just keeping it in buckets I'm putting it into these tanks so as you've seen these liquid tanks can hold pretty much any liquid as far as I can tell uh, so all I do is just keep it somewhere like that then grab myself a bucket uh, find myself somewhere safe to stand hopefully and then just yeah grab a bucket oops and hold on let's uh, put that down in there like so and then we can dump it into there Bom Boom. And then just backwards and forwards. It takes a little while, and I am going to try and fill up like three tanks worth. So, you know, I'm not going to make you watch all of this, but I just thought I'd show you. At some point, I need to come up with a better way. Uh, either a permanent source or a better source of lava. So I guess that could mean maybe going to the nether. That's one way of doing things. Uh, but also, uh, maybe, maybe at last, looking at those uh, those oil uh, those oil spills. That spills? Is that the word, right word? The, the oil geezers, I think they're called, uh, that are coming out of the sea near our house. Uh, if we could gather those up, we could uh, make ourselves some combustion engines, uh, which might be better all round, mightn't they? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I will see you back in the, uh, in the Redwood Realm. Uh, where hopefully we'll get this thing topped up and hopefully our quarry is doing its thing. See you in a sec. So just uh, just before we jump back through the uh, portal back to our mining world, I thought I'd just show you this. See this white patch here? Yeah, this used to be an orange patch. That's where all that lava was. All gone. Every last drop. I don't have a single bit. Uh, there are some other places around here with lava, but these are mostly lava flows, like coming down the side of the mountain and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I do have a bit of an issue now with lava. I guess there's some down there, but again, I think those are mostly flows rather than pools. So we do need to find ourselves another way of getting some fuel, either lava uh, or these or these oil uh, these oil geysers. Which, uh, if you look out just out the window, you can see one there. Look, see one just out there see it that's what i was talking about uh so yeah but we'll worry about that another time uh we're going to jump through the portal and oh i think it's night time uh let's have a quick sleep before we do anything else uh, but as you can see i've got four, uh, two full tanks of lava uh, as it stands and i've also got a little bit more uh, just a bucket's worth so two and a bit is all we managed to get but that's that's okay that's okay i think that's going to last i don't think that's going to be a problem in fact look at that it's still running on that same last little dribble that's been in there all that time so i think the lava is going to be absolutely fine i really really do. Uh, so the uh, as long as the water keeps up, and the water seems to be keeping up, it's not dropped a single drop. So that's uh, that's absolutely perfect. Let's go and have a look and see how this thing's getting on. Let's be a little bit careful here because it's dark, which means that there could be trouble waiting for us in here. Uh, no, just another one of those radioactive bats. <laughs> not anymore though. Oh, got some of that. Uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with that. That's um, wool of bat. 
and it's from uh, it's from the witchery. Do you know what? We've had a few bits from witchery lately. I, I really need to look into that. A few people have mentioned it in the comments as well. Perhaps it's one that I need to look at sooner rather than later. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? Because we are running out of time for the video, and I really wanted uh, this thing to be done by now. I guess this is the trouble. Because we are using the most basic engine, we're using the most basic um, fuel source, and we're using the most basic uh, engine type, apart from redstone engines. So yeah, this isn't particularly quick. So it's another reason why we need to upgrade the engines. Uh, but what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to give it a hand, because I think once it's finished uh, doing this top area here, it will start moving on to the next bit. Here we go, it's onto the oars. Uh, what's it picking up next? Where's it gone now? There we go, it's picking up an oar from there and over there. Let's see if it does this frame thing. So I really want to see that before the episode is over. Uh, let's just run around the edges here. Uh, some good stuff waiting for it to be picked up over there. There's a, I can see a sort of dark patch down there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. It's building its frame. It's building its frame. There we go. So this will become the top of the quarry. Okay, that's so cool. What is going on over there? There's something sort of dark and built up over there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You see it's moving? See it's moving? Here we go. I think at this point, this is where it will start doing its thing. Uh, and start sort of going backwards and forwards. Ah, it's so dark, I can't really see. Um... I don't have any torches with me either. That's annoying. Uh, can we go along the edge of this frame, maybe? If we go along here. Mind you, we're not going to go anywhere. I don't know why I'm worried. It's not like we're going to fall down. So there you go. You can see it's sort of shooting backwards and forwards like a, on like a beam. There we go. It's a bit dark, but you can just about make it out. And it's taking away the last of the um, the last of the uh, the gravel there. Let's give it a hand, shall we? Let's give it a little hand so it can get started. Uh, there we go. Right, that should uh, that should get it going a little bit quicker. There you go, Mr. Quarry. Go do your thing. Come on. Come on. Start getting up the good stuff. There you go. And there, there it goes. It's going downwards now. It's going down. Oh, oh, oh. It's coming back over towards me. It's chasing me. Can you actually see that? Is it, uh, I'm, I'm sort of giving a commentary here for something that possibly you can't see. <laughs> okay, well, it seems to be sort of drawing imaginary lines around places at the moment. Maybe I'm disrupting it. Perhaps I should just get out of the way at this stage. There we go. I'll get out of the way. Let's let it do its thing. Oh, it's made its way back over to the corner and... Bump, there away it goes. Yeah, there we go, our first quarry. So like, as you can see, it's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. We do need to get ourselves a more efficient engine. But what the hell? It's it started, and uh, yeah... As of uh, two, three episodes ago, I was starting to wonder if we would ever get this far. But there you go. Our first quarry is up and running. Uh, and uh, we are at level 57. So it's not got far to go. <laughs> it'll only take a few days, I would have thought, to get down to bedrock. But uh, yeah, it'll be worth it. Think of all the materials we're going to get. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be absolutely worth it. So there you go. That's our first quarry up and running. And a quick double check. Yep, it is now gathering up the supplies and dropping it into the chest. And if you look carefully, I think you'll find that those uh, items are actually coming through these pipes along with that bat. Um, yeah, I, I can't see any at the moment, but I think that's how it works. I believe it sends the items that it's gathering up that pipe along here and then around the frame and back down into the... Uh, oh! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Scared myself then. Uh, so yeah, it, it drops down into there and then it spits it out into the chest. And there you go. You can see it's gathering up the materials. Oh, good. More cobblestone. Just what I needed. <laughs> Oh well, okay. Well, it's working well, and that's uh, it's working slowly, but it's working well, and that's all that matters. So yeah, we got there in the end. It took a little while, but we got there in the end. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please leave a like. If you haven't, I guess you're going to go do that other thing. But I hope you have enjoyed it, and hopefully, I will see you all again in episode 16. Bye.